Hello, I'm Kev at Rimmer's Music. Today I'm going to show you a Katana 100 Mark 1. Now this is second hand, so it's been used. It's in very good condition. Uh, there'll be pictures uh, on the website with this, along with this video. There's a slight little dent in the uh, in the wrap on the front. Other than that, I can't really see anything wrong with it at all. It looks it looks in great condition. It's really really good. So, with the help of this <laughs> this second uh, camera here, hopefully it'll be up there. You'll be able to see what I'm doing with the controls. All right. So first of all, we'll run you through this here. So it goes acoustic, clean, crunch, lead. And then brown okay so acoustic basically this amplifier doubles up as an acoustic guitar amplifier it's not just an electric guitar amplifier like the majority of uh, guitar amps out there uh, they'll only take an electric guitar if you try and plug uh, an acoustic guitar into an electric guitar amplifier it's going to sound tinny it'll feed back if you crank the volume there's every chance you're going to uh, uh, break the speaker, bust the speaker. So not a good idea. However, on the Katana series, these Boss amplifiers are brilliant. They will they will handle an acoustic guitar no problem, as long as you're on that setting, the acoustic setting. All right. So I'll just uh, run you through. So as you've seen there, I've just knocked it to clean. Okay. <laughs> on this there's no reverb no chorus no delays no nothing we'll come to that in a second because it has got a, a number of uh, effects all built in okay so the uh, gains in the middle as you can see the volume slightly less than half and we've got it on the 50 watt setting at the moment so you can go to a hundred and you can also go to 0.5 <laughs> Okay. Uh, so lead, self-explanatory. All right. Uh, then we'll go on to this. The last one, which is brown, which is the heaviest distortion. Okay. Now, if you're into your heavy metal and your, your, your more, the, the heavier side of guitar playing, and you want to push it, you want that really distorted sound, all you've got to do, and this applies to every single setting as well that we've just been through, turn the gain right up, as you can see there. And uh, it sounds something like this. <laughs> center so we're back to the normal normal clean sound now which is a great natural clean sound from from a, a non-valve amplifier it sounds really really rich and really warm you know 
Okay, so the uh, equaliser, which is three bands, so you've got bass, middle, treble, for the purposes purpose of this demonstration, I'll leave them alone. They're all kept in the centre. Okay, so this effects section here, to let you know as well, you can buy a, a pedal for this to, to control all this section, but I'll just run you through what there is uh, included in there. So you can see three, uh, three dials here, and they're kind of split in half. So first one is booster, and you've got like a traffic light system on each one, so you've got red, yellow and green, okay? So your first booster, just giving you that little bit more overdrive. Second one. So, booster, it, it is giving you more volume as well as a bit more drive. Okay. And your third one. Center point, and we're on to modulation now. So, this is chorus, and there's a couple of flanges. So, that's your chorus. So, you can intensify it. So, that's on this is on full, really wavering. Uh, I'll just take that down a little touch so you get an idea of the. Kind of songs it's used with. So. All right, so uh, flanger flangers work best with uh, open chords or chords in general, as opposed to single notes. They do work all right with single notes, but. Really, really nice. And then you've got one more plunger as well. Okay, so we'll knock that one off and then we'll go on to the uh, delays now. So as you can see, you've got a, a little flashing light there. So you've got again the traffic light system. Which is just giving you a slight different uh, sound on the feedback of the delay. Basically, you, you tap three, four times in time with the song that you're playing or the riff that you're playing. So I'll just tap this a little bit faster. So one, two, three, four. And you can see that it's increased now.
not in them. Anyway, that's really nice. So, uh, the next section is effects, so effects in general. Right, so, when it's on uh, yellow or amber, we've got an octave. So this is an octave that's giving you bassier notes as opposed to one that's giving you an extra uh, treble note. So, so if you're playing uh, high up or on your higher strings, you're going to get a sound like this. I'll just turn that off so you get an idea of what it sounds like without. Back up. strings you essentially turn your guitar into a bass pushes the, the volume down back up again and you can speed that up or slow it down simply by turning the dial so I'll play I'll play this uh, the song by uh, Link Ray uh, the rumble and I'll in between the chords I'll just adjust it so you get an idea okay <laughs> It's an automatic wah, and it sounds absolutely brilliant. Absolutely uh, love that effect. So I'll just turn that off completely so no effects again. I'll just tell you about this guitar. So I have already done a review on this guitar. Uh, it's part of the Epiphone Prophecy uh, range. This is the SG. Uh, wonderful. It's absolutely fantastic. The uh, These Fishman pickups, the sustain that they put out is, is just brilliant. I love it. Anyway, that's not what this is about. It's about this great amplifier. All right. So, what else have we got? Reverb. So, I'm pretty sure most guitarists use either some, a little, or a lot of reverb. I personally have it about, I don't know about that. I'll just say two, maybe three. Depending on the amplifier. It just gives it that warmth, you know. But I'll just put that 
start on full for you, so you get an idea. <laughs> David Gilmore uh, style uh, solos, you know, with them held on notes. Still got the traffic light effect, my mistake, three types of reverb. So there'll be a room, hall and a spring reverb. Spring reverbs are what the uh, uh, valve amps uh, are fitted with, the actual spring reverb system. So if you're wanting that, uh, that authentic sound, uh, the spring reverb is the one. All right, so we'll just knock that off. Uh, there's a presence, so we'll turn the presence off. Turn the presence right up. You only really notice presence, I think, in a if you're playing a gig in a, in a big room. Some some rooms can really dull the sound of a of a guitar, in which case the presence comes in very handy, uh, and it'll just brighten things up a little bit. In general, for me personally, I have presence pretty much like the reverb, maybe a touch more. So I'd have my reverb there and my presence a little bit more. So I may also like a bit of crunch with the game turned up. So for example, I've just put my own settings in there. Uh, you know, like you can do, you can do with whatever, you, whatever, whatever settings, whatever song you wanna play, this amp will have that sound, I guarantee you. So I'll just play you something that I wrote. <laughs> tell you really it, it has got a uh, preset tone settings uh, it can link up to an app so you can input your own your own sounds download sounds from the app input them you can do that in reverse as well so if you found a great combination you know, <clears throat> a bit of chorus it might be touch of trend low it's on crunch with the gain at a certain level what etc whatever it might be you can then upload that that sound as well uh, yeah, so great amplifier used. Uh, it'll be on the website. There'll be pictures there. Check it out. It's actually here at the Leyland store if you want to come and have a look. But uh, I hope that I've uh, done a decent job there running you through exactly what it can do, uh, which is a lot. Uh, great amplifier, and like I say, it's 100 watt. So that, that will keep up with any drummer, no matter how hard they're hitting. It will keep up. Alright, uh, so yeah, there you go, Katana Mark 1, 100. Uh, I've been Kev, thanks for listening, and I'll see you again very soon. Cheers, thanks a lot.